my lovely, lovely, lovely imps. Today, we are going to be doing a little bit of drama, okay? Uh, recently, some beef appeared on the internet. And I don't mean the type of beef that you would make a burger out of. <laughs> oh, 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 you weren't expecting a funny <laughs> pun from me, were you? Uh, no, but, uh, but some beef occurred, okay? Between uh, two relatively large lefty content creators. One of them is Bad Bunny, uh, or most commonly known as Bad Bunny, but has recently uh, 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 rebranded to Kira Chats. Uh, and the other one involved in this is Keffels. Uh, I hope many of you will be familiar with Keffels. We've been, we've actually just talked about Keffels the other day, so I hope you all know who Keffels is. If you don't, Keffels is a very, very popular uh, uh, trans politics streamer. Uh, now, as I understand it, um, what initially happened was that Bad Bunny wrote a call-out post on Keffels, and then Keffels responded with a video that we are about to watch. Now, uh, for a very long time, I, uh, I, I, I thought very highly of Bad Bunny. And in fact, as far as, uh, as far as content, raw content goes, I still think pretty highly of Bad Bunny. Um, Bad Bunny belongs to a clique of people uh, who do not like me. Who actually, a couple of them actively hate me. Uh, uh, Bad Bunny has a sort of circle of friends, a, 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 no a notoriously in insular circle of friends. Now, while I have gotten along with Bad Bunny for a long time, and in fact, uh, last year, no, uh, it would have been... Yeah, it would have been December or so of 2021, maybe maybe November. I think it was November of 2021. Bad Bunny and I actually did a 12-hour charity stream where we raised $23,000 for uh, GoFundMes of trans people uh, and also some money for the... Uh, uh, for the Southern Trans Rights, uh, Southern Equality Project, which is a trans rights organization. It was a really successful fundraiser. Bad Bunny and I were co-hosting it, and it was a really fantastic thing. I will always, uh, I will always uh, think very highly of Bad Bunny for that particular thing. Unfortunately, recently I discovered that Bad Bunny has blocked me um, on on basically uh, on the only social media any of us any of us used at the time, which was Twitter, and that made me kind of bummed because I did not ever have any beef with Bad Bunny. Um, unfortunately, like I said, Bad Bunny's friend group really does not like me. Specifically, one particular individual, and I'll show you who this is, which is of course a guy by the name of DJ Mule. Now, DJ Mule. Uh, here, you can just see my thumbnails. Lies and abuse, a uh, lies and abuse apologia. Darvo, fake leftist mocks Xander Hall for getting abused. Believe it or not, that is not clickbait. Not even a little bit of clickbait. Uh, I got very, very mad at DJ Mule uh, because he made a video that was literally nothing but abuse apologia. For no real conceivable reason, he decided to make a, uh, a two hour long video essay uh, insulting, lying about, and doing abuse apologia towards a content creator uh, who I consider a friend by the name of Xander Hall. This was one of the most dishonest uh, videos I've ever seen in my entire life, and frankly, it was unacceptable behavior for someone who considers themselves a leftist. Uh, hence why I called him a fake leftist, because I don't think he's honestly a leftist. I think his behavior there displayed that he is simply a lying grifter. Um, now, uh, unfortunately, me blowing up on DJ Mule and countering his explicit lies about Xander Hall uh, landed me in some hot water with a lot of people. Which brings us to today. Uh, I am very, very interested to see what happened between Bad Bunny and Keffels because, well, I just really hope that it's not more of what I've seen so far. Uh, uh, I am not uh, so naive as to believe that people cannot behave worse or that people that I formerly liked cannot engage in bad behavior. However, uh, there have been some major claims about Keffels going around recently. 
And uh, in fact, Keffels has been the subject of not just a global harassment campaign. I, I mean that, literally. Keffels was driven out of her home, then driven out of her ho hotel room, then driven out of her hotel room again, and publicly threatened. People threatened to bomb a restaurant that Keffels was at. Not joking about that. That is a real thing that happened. Um, and so... I can't help but feel kind of strange that there are people jumping on board with dogpiling campaigns against Keffels when Keffels certainly did not do anything, at least to my knowledge, that would deserve such a horrible and fierce and dangerous reaction. So without any further ado, we are going to react and we are going to hear Keffels case. This video is titled Bad Bunny, Liar, Grifter, and Manipulator. Let's have it. You Let's do it, everybody. Here we go. You are a detriment. You are harmful. And this is directly a subtweet about me, right? When she's saying that I am harmful and that I'm a detriment. I want to get mad for a second. I need to get mad for a second because it's important. So we all know who Bad Bunny is. Is there anyone here who doesn't know who Bad Bunny is? Bad Bunny, not the rapper, is a Twitch streamer. She's one of the first streamers that I befriended when I started streaming a couple years ago. Um, I knew that there was a lot of really bad shit about her, but I decided not to bring it up anyway because I didn't want to rock the boat. And she recently decided to come at me. And I, I don't think she's really in a position to. I want to go over this because the bridge is burnt. She tried to change her name from Bad Bunny to Kira Chats because she wanted to avoid the kind of shit that she's associated with. So I'll show you all exactly what I'm talking about from today. And I need you all to know, out of respect for a lot of the streamers that I know, there's some really fucking weird shit that's happened behind the scenes. Like a lot of streamers do not actually, you know, they never tell you the full story about what's happening. But there's some really fucking weird and gross shit that I've heard about. I, I don't think I, I'm in a position at this point in time to talk about, but I have sat on this kind of shit for a long time. And she decided just recently to come at me for like little to no reason, despite all of the shit that she's said and done. Some of the clips that I want to show you were so bad, they got banned from the streamable website. And I had to find them in archives. So if you don't... Some of us are already familiar with these clips. Some of these clips are indeed very, very bad. To be charitable to Bad Bunny, as charitable as I can be, I have no... Again, I have no real reason. Bad Bunny blocked me out of nowhere, and Bad Bunny's friend group tr treats me and my friends like absolute shit. But I'm going to be charitable anyway. Bad Bunny has not been a leftist for all that long. Uh, that doesn't excuse past behavior, but just keep in mind that a lot of these things that, that we're probably going to see here in a minute, uh, Bad Bunny has addressed and has at the very least uh, 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 like directly addressed and said, like, that was, like, I don't believe that shit. That was bad of me to say. So credit where credit is due for that, uh, you know, just so you know. Let's go. No, I'll show you how Bad Bunny got popularized in the first place. But this isn't really associated with that. Like, she got known as the $5 girl because of the moist critical. I'll put it on while I'm gathering what I'm looking for. How that results in zero subs. There are regulars here. $5 a month. How are you have hours of time to watch me? and not five dollars i don't know what are you doing with your life where you have hours of time to watch twitch and not five dollars to provide for the content that you're watching because it's like people okay 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 but b b bad bunny was kind of spitting here okay i'm sorry five dollars the five dollars i know i know some people hate this but i think this is funny as shit okay i think it's really funny uh, to blow up on your chat if your chat is being like shitty to you and shaking them down because I mean it's like you know 
it is it is mean and it is a faux pas and it is egotistical but it's also very very funny and also you should pay your streamers if you can obviously if you don't have money don't fucking pay us but if you do please tip us we work very very hard so you know but i'm just saying it's it's funny this show will always be free yes uh, I will do my absolute best to make sure that this show will always be free. I have no desire to paywall my show. I strongly believe in my show being free and accessible to all. Sirius says, I'm not a Keffels hater, but I am a little weirded out about sitting on bad things until someone does something against you. Shouldn't that be published right, right away if it's bad enough? Uh, I'm going to be charitable at, as I'm in a charitable mood. As you can see, I'm being charitable to both Bad Bunny and I'm also going to be a little charitable to Keffels. I think what Keffels meant is that she had heard things, but she didn't know about, she, like, she didn't have any confirmation from her own experience. Uh, everybody uh, who's a political streamer has bad things about them. You guys know that Vosh, for, of course, has a million different things that he gets clipped out of context for. You guys know that people claim that I, like, cook meth in my bathtub and that I'm, like, the, the gender fairy, like, delivering, like, HRT needles in the middle of the night. And people say absurd things about streamers. Parasociality is wild. So I can understand hearing some things and not immediately publishing anything until you have confirmation that that person is a piece of shit and that this isn't just something made up. Uh, I'm going to be charitable to Keffels and I think that's what she was trying to, to talk about. Yeah. Sophie, thank you very very much for the $5 a month. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Keffels said she was a tiny streamer when she heard about BB so she was afraid to be of being destroyed by Bad Bunny's community. I do believe that that's a possibility. Um, Bad Bunny's community has in the past at various times been really really intense so i do believe that 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 could be a real fear and i also don't entirely blame somebody for that like for example you guys know how much it's hurt my channel to be targeted by a gigantic pre-established streamer um i've been doing this for three years my my production quality is through the roof my segments are awesome and well researched and prepared uh i'm funny as hell and i'm sexy too and yet because I've been, my reputation was literally shot from orbit by a bunch of, by, by a set of larger streamers. It made the, it made the battle to grow this channel very difficult. Like some of you were here for that. Some of you saw how badly in real time having complete bullshit made up about me and spread to the corners of the internet has made it like difficult for me to bounce back from that. So I totally understand that fear. Anyway. Let's continue. Let's not get distracted on the past. Let's continue. People just really have no, they really don't respect me as a content creator. Well, this Parasite's right about one thing. Nobody respects her as a content creator. Now, I'm not going to mention this streamer by name because I'm pretty sure she loves negative publicity. She does f shit all the time just to get her name out there. This is how she became known. However, the reality of the situation is a lot grosser. It wasn't that she was doing this uh willy-nilly it's that she's literally a fin dom streamer like she constantly berates her chat like the sub goals are pay pigs it's it's kind of gross it it comp i disagree a little bit with keffels here i think that's great okay i think that's fucking funny okay i used to watch bad bunny a lot I think that's fucking funny. If you uh, if you get a tier three sub in Keffels' chat, you get a 3D golden pig chewing on money. It's I'm sorry. I I think it's funny. I think that's really a good. It's not explicitly sexual in any way. It's literally that's just the rapport that she has set up with her chat. And I do think there are some times where it's taken too far. Like for example, I do think that like singling out and berating people. Uh, who are your pay pigs, but they're not actually your pay pigs. You don't have like an actual established kink relationship. I do think that can be problematic. I do think it can go so far, but the overall bit, I gotta say, I think it's funny. Okay, I, I think it's funny. Completely went over the head of everyone who was criticizing her for it. Don't kink shame. Look, I oh, understand sorry, sorry, sorry if you're that. doing fin dom shit, but if you also say I am a leftist educator, it feels fucking weird because then it's like you can, if you want to engage with her, 
in politics, you are entering into like these non consent, like these sexual spaces that you don't necessarily want to be a part of. And you might not, not even know what's going on. Like in the case of Moist Critical here, completely went over his head. Negative public image literally f ruins you. And this one is definitely bigger than she anticipated because no one likes someone this shamelessly greedy. She is a streamer who runs political talk shows, but the majority of the stream is spent begging and shaming people into giving her money. And it's some of the most pathetic shit I've seen on Twitch. This is drama from a long time ago, but I thought it was necessary to just show you like, this is how, she, this is what she was known for. And over the years, it's been an entire clusterfuck. But I know that I'm not here today to like go over, here is every fucking weird thing about this person. Here is her entire history. I'm not that kind of content creator. I'm here to talk about the fight that she had with me. She decided to come at me on Twitter. She subtweeted me and then she blocked me on Twitter so I couldn't even respond. Here's what she was going on about. Keemstar has directly harassed me and countless other marginalized people, routinely fucks teenagers and has literally gotten people killed. But it's super cool that so many of you think he's epic and based now because he said trans people exist. Y'all would befriend Kyle Rottenhouse if he said be gay do crime. I need you to know that you are a pawn for capitalist recuperation. You are a detriment. You are harmful. And this is Wow. Well, okay. We're gonna we're gonna pause for a second here. You guys remember just just last stream? when I said that there are there are good reasons and good ways to criticize Keffels about this, like I almost said the exact first part, the very first part of the first tweet, not the whole first tweet, where I said, Keemstar is a notorious piece of shit. He has a, a, a mountain of controversies that are very legitimate following him. And remember how I said in my last stream that I understand if people were angry at Keffels, um, because of not being like, uh, they were angry at Keffels for not being able to like call him on those things. Uh, but that they shouldn't, they should avoid going so unhinged that they ruin their own critique and that they ruin our ability to have a healthy conversation about it. Yeah. Well, thank goodness that, that in this particular case, Bad Bunny's call out illustrated exactly what I'm talking about, which is that Bad Bunny has a good reason to not like Keemstar, obviously. Um, but then, of course, to go and say content creators uh, like Keffels are harmful and 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 helping capitalist recuperation when that's just that's just not what happened at all. That's not what happened at all. It's just it just it's so so annoying. It's so stupid. Anyway. That's why I said what I said in my last stream. That's why I showed what it would look like to build actual critique, actual constructive critique. Directly a subtweet about me, right? When she's saying that I am harmful and that I'm a detriment. Because later on, she responds directly to someone saying, it's a shame that a popular trans activist is promoting him right now, despite all the harm he's caused. And she responds by saying that I'm sanitizing his reputation, which- Remember when I talked about the fact that I, ha I wish that Keffels had been able to capitalize uh, or actually, I should say Ke that Keffels had either stopped him from just talking about his side of the story or had been able to put give some pushback to that. That's not sanitizing his reputation. Like, that's just not what that means. It, and, and I can understand if you use that flippantly, but following up this call out post. Yeah. Let's continue. I'm not. And anyone who actually engaged with the debate, who watched it, knew. I pushed back. Like, very few people have pushed back. Like, I know people who've been following Keemstar for years, and they told me they do not know other people who have pushed him that hard in a conversation about things like Etika. Or tried to make him own up to like any of the racist or anti-Semitic or homophobic shit that he's done over the years. But this kind of stuff doesn't matter. The thing that's really funny to me about this situation, I I have a I I have some conviction. 
and I will die on the hill that I believe that people should be forgiven if you want to forgive them, if they truly want to change and be better people. That's something I've always believed in. That's why I said, like, if people left Kiwi Farms and they truly regretted the kind of shit that they were doing, they'd be welcome in my community. That's why I even gave Keemstar a chance in the first place, because I wanted to see if he wasn't trolling. And the only reason I was friendly with Nicole in the first place is because I believe the same thing, because the kinds of shit I'm about to show you that she's gotten into over the years is fucking insane. Oh. So like, here's a clip. And you tell me how this is defensible. I, for one, would never, I wouldn't have, I would never be involved with a guy who's bisexual. I couldn't do it. Just, there might be exceptions, obviously. When I say I couldn't, I, I wouldn't be attracted or I'm not attracted, uh, obviously, if it's like, obviously, there could be exceptions to all you super literal nerds out there. But, like, I don't, I don't, like... If a guy's like, having sex with other guys, and then he's like, oh, maybe I'll try having sex with you, I'm like, uh racist and sexist please don't say that even black people if you found me a black bisexual man i might throw up in my mouth at the thought of, of sexual um contact with him if you find me a black bisexual man i might throw up in my mouth it is an actual thing that she said 100 percent in earnest And this, this is why you should never, ever attempt to be an internet woke scold call out post writer if you have a history of saying on film to hundreds or perhaps even thousands of people things like that. It's a bad clip. Yep, folks, that's a bad, bad clip. And she's going off on me cutting ties and saying that i am i am harmful and that absolutely fucking insane just like fucking completely insane that she feels like she has any sort of moral high ground to stand on and it gets worse from here too not every black bisexual i throw up in my mouth at the side of just like you know we're talking sexually you can't hate gay people anymore why not? I want to hate whoever the fuck I want to hate. I want to hate a person because they're wearing Crocs. Why can't I hate a person because they, because they, because of whatever else trivial? Re if that reason is trivial, tr allowed, I, if I can hate a person for wearing Crocs, that's an incredibly trivial reason. And then people can harp on me about how stupid it is for me to hate an entire person because of the Crocs they wear. But you yeah. see me, fuck. I will hate you the said. fuck out of that Croc wearing freak and I have no qualms about it. So if I can hate a person for wearing Crocs and no one's gonna make a peep about it, then me saying I don't, I don't, I don't get actually, my vagina doesn't lubricate at the thought of a bisexual man. Holy shit. And then people are, oh, whatever, well, you can hate everything about the Croc wearing guy, but uh, if your vagina doesn't, doesn't lubricate right the fuck now, we're gonna have some problems and I'm gonna have to tell uh, I have to tell on you to the internet land. You get what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying, right? Yeah. Um, you want to know what was really funny? Uh, remember how I mentioned that DJ Mule guy before? DJ Mule is the co-host of a podcast that Bad Bunny slash Kira Chats is on. And uh, in his video where he was freaking out about Xander Hall, and he made claims, he made interestingly totally false claims about Xander Hall's past. Uh, he played those clips and then defended them while, while condemning Xander Hall for a past that he had, that DJ Mule had fabricated. It was really fucking weird. And this is one of the problems that I've had with the friend group that surrounds and includes Bad Bunny, which is that they lie all the time about anybody that they don't like. Like, they will literally go, they will pull no punches. They basically will do disinformation campaigns. I mean, multiple people involved with that specific friend group have propagated explicit, years-old debunked lies about people like Xander Hall. It's, it's wild. And I don't, 
get it. I don't understand why that's necessary or how that's helpful to anything, except for as like the most desperate, like in-group, out-group, click infighting that you can imagine. Anyway, let's continue. I think she's harmful. I think she's a grifter. I think that she still most likely believes all of the things that she said in those old clips, but she realizes that the only way that she can make- Skunksy, this is the- Skunksy asks, do you have a position on this or is this a first time watch? I have not watched this video. Uh, I heard through the grapevine about the call out post, but this is my first time watching this video. So yeah, I'm watching it. It's a live reaction. There you go a living still is to present herself as a progressive i think it's pretty obvious she surrounds herself with progressives there is a grifter clip that's not one i found that's a huge section of but it. this one this one was really fucking bad so in this clip nicole makes an argument that white people are only attracted to other white people because of evolution and that's why she doesn't want to date black people I'm like, that, that's her argument. It's fucking insane. She literally transitioned into Adolf Hitler. That's a huge section of people to just completely write off as unattractive. And it just seems like kind of strange. Like, is it literally like just the skin color is like unattractive to you? Like, do you, I don't know. It just seems it's like a weird It's as simple as evolutionarily, we want to fucking propagate our fucking like shit. And so propagating our own fucking shit involves finding people that are similar to our own shit. Well, I mean, that's not true by definition, though. That's a huge... I actually haven't seen this clip. This is a new one for me. Huge section of people. Yeah, no. Yeah, she's literally making arguments against race mixing. And this was only a couple years ago. This isn't ancient news. I went into her chat today and I asked her if she'd be willing to have a conversation with me. And her response was, um, her mods timed me out for an hour and then she looked at- Posadas John says, she's Badolf Blitler. No, she's Badolf Banitler, if you were gonna be correct. And I'm not making that, I'm just correcting your insult for the record, so don't fucking clip me on that. It's Banitler, thank you. Let's continue. Upset for like 30 minutes before she raided out and then she, she locked her Twitter account. Yeah, she deleted her VOD from today too. Oh yeah, no, she unmodded me. I used to be a mod uh, from her chat. She was one of the first streamers that supported me. I've been on her stream before. She's been on my stream multiple times. And then when the Keemstar stuff came up, she threw me under the fucking bus. That's why I think she's manipulative. That's why I think that she's a grifter. Because she only cares. It seems like she only um, cared as much as she did about trans people and other minority groups because it would make her look progressive. Yeah, did I know about the stuff? Um, before the Keemstar bit. I always knew about this stuff, but I was afraid to call it out. But this year is different. In the year of our Lord 2023, if someone is a piece of shit, I'm going to say they're a piece of shit. I don't care if it means- Based! Fucking based and spine-pilled! And you will have my support in that. That I have to burn bridges? I want to say the truth. No matter how inconvenient it is, no matter how rocky it makes things so okay here's um here's some good stuff Ooh. from back in the day in 27 oh. in 2017 here's our old discord logs for the word tranny so as long as i don't call transgender people traps and yell die tranny faggot i'm not transphobic shut up faggot jew tranny boy what kind of tranny? Maybe faggot isn't being used as a slur against homosexuals. It's insane. Like, she just, like, keeps going off on this shit. Oh, yeah, no, and this isn't even all of it. It gets so much... Th like, this is just, like, the transphobic and homophobic bits. Hold on, I have the other stuff. Just a second. I'm not even going to, like, repeat the shit here. Okay, we already saw the faggot stuff. You can just take a look. There are pages of her just saying the N-word. Just, it's fucking disgusting. Absolutely, it's just so fucking gross. Yeah, what was this? 21 results for the N-word? So it's like, Nicole has, because of all this stuff, she nuked her Discord. You can't find any of these logs. All of these logs are now just in screenshots because of the Discord nuke. Okay, wait, someone just said, okay, now Keffel's decide she's offended when she gets mad at a person. 
No, that's not the situation. The situation is that I was a small streamer and I did not want to call someone out who could fucking ruin me. That was the situation. Like, I was scared to actually even talk about that. And now we're in a different situation. I can talk about this now and I'm glad. I'm glad that I can because it fucking sucks. It's wrong. Bad Bunny is making sure to use it all. Oh yeah, no, the DJ Mule stuff is fucked too. So Bad Bunny runs in a crowd of people. I've seen this pattern before. She feels deeply ashamed of her old behavior, but rather than make amends for her own behavior, she disavows other people for stuff she only learned not to do 10 minutes ago. She denies others the grace she depends on. Because like, that's the thing. She went from right wing to left because leftists, at least actual leftists, believe in rehabilitation. If you want to see the world that you want to build, you need to be willing to forgive people even if they do not deserve to be forgiven. I'm sorry, that's the truth. That's the only way that you can make the world a better place. And she relies on that grace, but then she goes into it with this incredibly punitive attitude. She doesn't believe in that. She believes in punishing people. But if you punish everyone, they're never going to change. You, you call yourself a leftist and you want to perpetuate the same fucking systems. Why is it that when I decide to finally, like, do- When I decide to do the right thing, when I decide to go forward and be like, here are all the fucked up things that are happening, people are like, oh, well, why didn't you do this earlier? It's like, let people make the right decisions. Just shut the fuck up. The thing with Kira is that she runs in a circle called the Red Planet Podcast or whatever the fuck it is. Espen M says, I didn't think that Keffels did, the, did an amazing job with Keemstar, but it would be like disavowing Xander Hall because he had a less than optimal debate with Lauren Southern, completely out of proportion. Well, Pete, they, this group was mad at Xander Hall for that. They tried to say, first of all, Xander Hall's debate was way better than people gave him credit for, first of all. I, I was the one who based fucking Demon Mama had the spine to stand up and say, actually, Xander Hall did way better than people said. But secondly, uh, this entire group of people did get mad at Xander Hall for that because they believe that making a mistake is the same, it, as, as long as you're someone they don't like, making a mistake may as well disqualify you from a leftist. But of course, they can make as many mistakes as they want as long as, uh, you know, but they're special, you know, because they're in the in-group. So they can make as many mistakes as they want, but anybody outside, you're fucked. It's, it's very, very silly. It's a very silly way of approaching things. And earlier, I guess like um, in mid-2022, one of the co-hosts decided to completely turn on me. And that was DJ Mule. So I'm just going to leak DMs real quick. I've done this before, <laughs> but I want to show you yeah, how fucking DMs. sneaky these Fuck. people are. So here are my DMs with uh, with DJ Mule. In early 2022, I called Chud Logic a pedophile, and I got relentlessly fucking dragged for doing it. The reason I did was because of information that came from DJ Mule. So he said, Hey Keffels, hope you're good love. Just wondering how much you know about No Comment Chick, the woman you hosted earlier today. What about her? She hate raids me, Sophie from Mars, and a bunch of our friends regularly. I said I didn't believe that. I do believe that now, but at the time I didn't. And I asked him, like, how are you sure? You got me in shit before. You didn't have evidence that Chud Logic is a pedophile. And I got fucking dragged for saying that. I said to him, I used his thread as proof Chud Logic was a pedophile, which resulted in like two weeks of drama and multiple call out videos. Here's his response. I was busy at the time and he fucking essay posted at me before blocking me. I mean, I'm sorry that happened, but I would never have asked you to do that. So it's like, okay, you know, call people out for being child sexual predators, but don't, don't act on that information. You know, I just want the clout from the Twitter thread. Never actually try to keep your community safe. It's so fun. Literally fucking true though. DJ Mule is a fucking disinformation merchant. DJ Mule is a giant piece of shit and the only job that he does is to make everybody else's work harder by being insane and saying untrue things. He's made false claims about Xan. He's made false claims about fucking Chud Logic and just for the record, as you all know, I am like currently embroiled in a beef with Chud Logic's uh, editor, and by extension, I guess Chud Logic. Uh, so there's 
I'm not here like I'm not exactly like like the super Chud Logic defender here, but uh, DJ Mule gave Keffels false information, which Keffels then reported. And to be fair, to defend Keffels here, Keffels re re corrected it within 30 seconds. Like, like I I'm talking like somewhere around 10 seconds it took for Keffels to correct the record. Um, but still. Accusing somebody of being a pedophile without evidence is a pretty major thing to do. So obviously Keffels felt pretty bad about that. And in fact, Keffels went out of her way to apologize in person to Chud Logic, which I believe Chud Logic has even verified. Uh, anyway, the point is, DJ Mule exists to fucking spread disinformation. He is a detriment, a genuine detriment. Let's continue. Fucking performative. I hate all of these people. Like, I appreciate what you did a lot, and you defo put yourself in the crosshairs with that, but like, yeah, it's a super fucked up situation, and he is a groomer. Obviously, a lot of people disagree with the word pedophile regarding him, and that's up to them, but I believe that girl 1000%, and he did try to groom her. But I guess if you don't trust me now, I can't really do anything about that. I would ask you to trust her ex-mods, though. And then, like, before I've even responded, before I even fucking respond, I get the fucking essay post. The more I think about what you said, the more pissed the more I'm pissed about it. You decide to publicly speak out about someone grooming, and that's a brave and great thing to do, but you don't get to say I was responsible for getting you dragged. You wrote a, you wrote a thread of disinformation. Yes, she does. You put a pub, you published, pu you, you published a thread making claims about somebody. You were somebody who is being given some level of trust. You have broken that trust. Y yes, everyone gets to complain about you lying on the internet for petty clout. They absolutely fucking do. God, DJ Mule is such a brain dead piece of shit. The debate community standing up for each other because toxic masculinity trumps believing victims is what got you dragged. And I would have never recommended you start that shit because I knew that would happen. I'm coming to you with this info about Irene because she is someone deeply hurtful and is possibly a danger to people in your community. I don't want you to drama stream about it. I don't want you to tweet about it. I just wanted you to know. And while you're at it, stop making apologies for Vosh when he's a well-known piece of shit for multiple reasons and his followers took down a literal trans advocacy group. Literally? Another lie. The I the the this has been debunked so many times. The idea that his community took down a well-known trans advocacy group, it's literal bullshit. Uh a a a Twitter account that did trans advocacy, a tiny Twitter account that did trans act uh, act advocacy, aka they talked about trans stuff on the internet. Uh, posted a poll, uh, like, you know, like a, a, a questionnaire. And they said, hey, are there anybody out there who actually likes Vosh? And if so, why? It was something along those lines. It was like, you know, uh, whatever. And then Vosh, not rating, Vosh did not know this person, just said, hey, why don't you guys respond to this and let them know what you think? And there was a bunch of positive responses about Vosh. And this person got mad, deleted the thread, and then went private because they were hoping for a negative reaction about Vosh, but they got a positive reaction about Vosh. That's the actual true story that actually happened. And Vosh has a video on this if you want to see all the receipts in action. But we've talked about this a million times. DJ Mule is a dishonest, lying, grifting piece of shit, fraud leftist, and abuse apologia. And that, by the way, you can fucking put your money on that. Because I've got an entire video with every single motherfucking receipt in it. You want to see the truth? Go watch my fucking DJ Mule video and you can see it with your own fucking eyes. You can take that to the bank. You know, it's funny. Do you want to know why people trust my word when I talk about things? It's because I don't fucking talk shit without shit to back it up. Because they disagreed with him. I don't know what you think. Weren't you the first person to talk about him? Yes, I was. My video was the first response video to DJ Mule before even Xanderhal did it. 
because I saw DJ, I happened by pure chance to see Z DJ Mule's video. And when I saw the title, I was like, I know that this is gonna be bullshit. So I brought it up on stream and we watched it and reacted there because I fucking knew that motherfucker was gonna be lying about Xander Hall. And I was right. I think you're gonna game by sticking up for a known racist, but okay. Th this guy literally has a podcast with the uh, I will never date a black bisexual lady. Like, where is this moral high ground coming from? Like, I don't understand how they fucking, they must have, I, I don't fucking know. It's just the fucking flexibility of this guy to suck his dick that hard. I don't want anything to do with you unless you sort your shit out. Disappointed and upset in so many ways about this shit. Wow, dude, holy shit, what a fucking cuck. I don't want anything to do with you until you sort out your shit. You don't trust me because I lie all the time and I don't want anything. You're losing, huh, you're lo I'll have you know, you're losing the support of Dr. Robotnik over here. Yeah, I, my tiny 1K subscriber YouTube channel, we're gonna denounce you. Dude, shut the fuck up. What a cuck. So like, this is kind of like the condescension that I have to deal with from this crowd where they're constantly, they're constantly defending someone who has said racial slurs and homophobic slurs and transphobic slurs and made eugenics arguments about why they don't want to date black people. Meanwhile, I th literally, I'm being treated like a child and being told, here's the bad guys, here's the good guys. Uh, by the way, don't talk about uh, the skeletons in our closet. It's just so fucking grifty. It's so performative and it's so manipulative. That whole crowd is toxic. But yeah, no, it's just, I wanted to talk about it because I'm just mad. I'm, I feel like I was manipulated and I was used. I was being used as a token tranny to rehab someone's image who is a really vile human being. And everyone on the leftist space of Twitch who knows who she is, knows about this shit, but no one says a fucking word about it. Like, it's just like this weird open secret. I'm getting so pissed off at the left online just because it's full of so many incredibly performative people who don't believe in rehabilitation, who want everyone to live in an echo chamber. It's like they have no actual fucking values. They treat it like it's a social club rather than a legitimate political movement. I can't fucking take it. I'm so fucking mad. Like I'm still always going to be a leftist, but when people are being fucking dumb, I will treat them like they're fucking dumb now. Hi, thank you so much for watching. If you want to participate in the chat and the videos while they're live, you can do so by making an account at keppels.gg. Also, my videos on this channel regularly get demonetized, so if you'd like to support the channel, you can do so at patreon.com slash keppels. This is a fucking good idea. This end roll is sick. I gotta do an end roll like that. Obviously, it'll be my own whole style, but this is such a fucking smart idea. Good call, Keppels. All right. Well, that was super interesting. A lot of older stuff, which is fair. Uh, because that was the topic, but yeah, um, guys, like, <laughs> as it turns out, like, callouts have to be used sparingly, and they have to be based on the truth, or else they are not valuable at all. Uh, calling out people as a culture, you know, call out culture, uh, is, 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 is not a good thing as it turns out. And it can be weaponized really, really easily against really good people. Um, firing shots at Keffels in, in the center of Keffels being turbo dogpiled is not helpful. Um, I'm not, as you guys should know, I literally did an entire video uh, where I talked about critiques of Keffels and why most of the people who were jumping on board this giant dog pile weren't actually critiquing Keffels. Uh, as you should know from that, I'm more than willing to offer critiques of basically anybody. I am, I am willing to critique even people that I am friends with IRL, uh, but I tried to do so constructively and to not do so wastefully. And more importantly, arguably even than that, well, I think more importantly than that in general, is that I stick to the truth. Uh, if I'm going to make a claim about somebody, I'm going to fucking back it up. If I'm going to make a, a claim about what somebody said, I'm going to fucking back it up. It's that easy. Uh, and as it turns out, uh, that is a much more productive way of doing things. A call out is just a tool. 
and it's not even that powerful of a tool most of the time, but a call out that spreads disinformation, a call out that does nothing but hurt somebody else that doesn't deserve to be hurt is not useful for anyone. Uh, and it's really unfortunate that like, it seems to me like basically the bad bunny clique that like, that, that that has like the the thought slime DJ Mule Sophie from Mars, uh, you know Bad Bunny, and that whole little group. I I, I don't know uh, I don't know who else. I don't know if I know FD Signifier does a lot of stuff with them, but I don't know if he considers himself actually a part of that group. But that little group of people, they seem to be basically just like ejecting themselves entirely from the left. They've basically burned every single bridge, and uh, I don't think it's gonna be a good. I don't think it's gonna pay off. I, I don't think it's going to pay off as a play. I don't think it's going to pay off politically. I don't think that it's effective. I think it's just hurtful. When you just like jump on every piece of disinformation you can about people that you dislike, it just means you actually have no grounds to, to actually criticize anybody. If you just lie about every person that you dislike, um, nobody trusts you. You literally suffocate yourself in it's really fucking stupid. So, you know, uh, critical support for Keffels, as we can understand. And, uh, and yeah, that's, that's, I guess that's all for this particular drama. Um, yeah, well, I don't have much else to say about it. Keffels based, uh, pointless callouts, not based. There we go.